Hi, I'm Rob Latham, and I'd like to show you Action Target's dueling tree. Now, the cool thing about this is that there are hard shots, the targets move, and there are a lot of acquisitions to make. The way I like to shoot it, I've got a setup where three on one side, three on the other, is I'm going to start at the top, I'm going to shoot a target, and once I've hit that target and moved it to the other side, I go to the next target. Once I've cleared all of them, and they've all moved to opposite sides, I'm going to reload and return them to where they started from. Now there's lots of tricks here. One, you have to shoot and make sure once you've hit the target that it's left. Because if you nip one, it may not move, so you're going to have to shoot it and turn it all the way across. So you have to stay on the targets, you have to see what's going on downrange, and you have to be able to adapt if you've got you know, a miss or, or a makeup shot required. Alright, I'm going to load it up now. Okay, so it's excellent to teach you to look for the next object that you're trying to find while things are happening around you. So it's confusing, which is great to teach you to deal with the stress of movement going on. Now I've got one more drill I want to show you here. I've got three on each side. And this is a nine shot drill. I'll start on the left side and go down, ding, ding, ding. Move everything over to the right side. Then I'm going to come up up the right side and shoot the other six. Now if I do this right, I won't have to load because it's nine hits. Okay, just like that. Easy as pie. Now let me, let me fix those targets. So we got three and three. Okay, I've got three and three on now. I want to show you what this is really for. The best thing about the dueling tree is you can set it up to shoot a man on man because you have basically sh two shooting lanes. So I've got it set up for a man on man situation where you can put two people here and let them shoot against each other. I've got a couple guys here. Mike, Dave, you want to come up here? And we're going to put them in a little shoot off. See if we can put a little stress on them and see how they shoot. Mike, Dave, here's the way this target works. You've each got three targets on your side of the tree. When you hit it, it's going to move over to the other side. You guys shoot your targets and only on your side until they're all on one side. When I see them all on one side, I'm going to yell stop because that means somebody's won. Now here's the trick. Don't stop when you think they're over because what happens on this thing, I've seen it over and over. You hit your last one and you think you're done, you put the gun down and he's hit one at the same time. So stay on top of it. Stay on top of your reloads too. Okay? You guys ready? Let's give it a try. Load up, make ready. I'll give you the commands of shooters ready, stand by, and then I'll yell fire. When you hear that fire, you can draw. Don't move till then. Now remember, you're shooting at basically, what, about a six inch plate on that thing? So shoot it like it's that target and stay with the target until you've hit it. You guys ready? Shooters ready. Stand by. Fire! Stop! We have a win to the left. All right, load up, make ready. Let's do it again. Load up fully. You good? Let's do it one more time. It is one to zero to Mike on the left. Dave, come on. My cat magazine over here. Uh, or missing on the right over here. Okay, here we go. Shooters are both ready. Shooters ready. Stand by. Fire! Stop! So there is a small advantage to the high capacity because he's getting the load in. Mm -hmm. While you're doing the load is when he's finishing it up. So I think to make this fair, he should put 10 rounds in one magazine for one, for one more run. Now I can tell you this, when you're shooting right next to that target, yeah. it probably won't move. Yeah. Yeah, See, now what's so hard about that? Yeah, it's know. always once you're under the clock. All right, load up, make ready. Mike, you get a 10 round mag this time. Dave, this is it. You don't want to get run three straight, do you? But don't think about that. Don't think about that. <laughs> All right, load up, make ready. Here we go. Shooter's ready. Stand by. Fire! Stop! 
We had a wind to the right, finally. And are you gonna just stand there and look at that empty gun? <laughs> It's amazing what happens when you put just a small amount of stress in it. Now you got to realize that the beauty of this target is that it's difficult, that it's that it's moving all the time and you have to react to what you're seeing. Now I think we should uh, load up some mags and come back and have maybe just one more shoot. I want to take you two both on. All right. All right, go let's load up. <laughs> all right, we're all loaded up ready to have a big shootout. But I want to tell you a couple things I saw there. One, this target's a difficult target. It's not like shooting a full silhouette. It's not a hose target. It's more of a precision shot. So what makes or breaks your run on this is accuracy, not necessarily speed. I'll be able to, I should, probably can't beat you guys, but I can probably keep with you up to the point where I'm doing my reloads simply by not missing without going that quick. You don't win this, you lose this. So when you're shooting, you, you weren't missing very much. Now, initially on, you had some good runs and took advantage of the magazine capacity you had over him. That's how you beat him on one run. But the other run, you didn't hit anything. So that's what really cost you. So make sure when you get up there, you're stopping the gun and not shooting what I call hopers. Hopers where you think that's close enough, I hope it hits it. Uh -uh, you got to take it one step further and be aware that you're pointed at the target. At that point, it's execute fundamental shot. You only have to shoot this quick to be good on this. Dink, dink, dink. Because the other guy can't go quick enough to get ahead of you. And if he misses, he'll lose. All right, shall we try a little battle here? Ready? All right, move over here, Mike. Now remember, there are two elements to, to shooting and the, that really matter. One is you point the gun at the target, and two, you fire it without moving it out of alignment. Always remember those two things. All the rest of this is peripheral. Okay, so I'll use the buzzer to start us, guys, because otherwise I'll cheat and jump. Everybody's loaded up. Check it if you want to. Remember, the loudest noise a gun makes is click. Now, don't be nervous. No pressure. Here we go. Shooter's ready. Stand by. Excellent Bam. job. That's exactly how it should be. I should not be able to beat you on this. I was close once. You were very I was close. real close once. <laughs> All right. Hanger. Let's run them back over to the other side. <laughs> Why didn't you guys shoot like that when you're shooting against each other? Because you taught us now. <laughs> we know how to do it. I wasn't watching guys shoot before. I said, this is going to be a cakewalk. <laughs> All right, here we go. One more time. Shooter's ready. Stand by. It was really close there for a second. I almost had you right off the bat with a ding, ding, ding. What happened to you? I choked. Magazine on the ground or something? There? I just, it was, uh, <laughs> it was my choice. Yeah, right, exactly. That's the beauty of this target. Thanks, Mike, Rob. Dave, thank Appreciate you much for shooting with me today. Appreciate it. Now the beautiful thing about this target is that it really develops stress in a different way. If you're using a static target and nobody else is involved with what you're doing, you don't have to react to anybody else. This, you don't know which target's coming back next. You think you've got it done, you're going ding, 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 you're ready to put the gun down, target comes over. If, if I won that one, that is how it happened because they saw their last one coming over and before they had anything, before they noticed there was nothing left to shoot, I sent two back over their way. That's what's great about this target. It's inexpensive. It's not a real, it's not, it's not going to cost you thousands of dollars to get a target like this. And it makes a great, great training tool. When you put it into law enforcement, the price of the target and the ammunition is nothing compared to the price of a life. So to buy a few pieces of equipment that'll teach you to be able to be accurate and fast under stress, hey, that's a bargain. Now, once again, the fundamentals of shooting always apply. I'm a competition shooter, but I have trained hundreds if not thousands of law enforcement and military. And what I've found to be the most effective techniques are the same thing that you're going to use on the street. And putting yourself in a position where you have to make hard so shots under stress while reacting to changes in the environment is exactly what you need to improve your survivability on the street. To gain the skill I have shooting a pistol is required a great commitment in time and expanse. I shoot tens of thousands of rounds a year and you need the best equipment you can get from the guns to the ammunition to the targets I shoot.
Action Target isn't another little company welding things together in their backyard. They have a humongous facility and they produce everything from plate racks to shoot houses. They've built shooting ranges for the FBI, for the federal law enforcement training facilities, right up to the NRA's headquarters range. It's the best equipment you can get and if you want your performances to be to the top, you need the best equipment you can get.